Amen. Are you there? I said, Amen. You will arise. I said, You will arise. You will shine. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. All your darkness of the past, everything is gone. And a small one, look at that, my boy there, that small one, my girl there, my daughter there, that small one, you'll become great in Jesus' name. And all the greatness we've been talking about, all the goodness we've been talking about, the Lord make it to flow into your life in Jesus' name. And somebody shout again. Yeah. That amen will fulfill all the glory of the Lord in your life. Rest yeah. of that time. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we well, thank you at this time. You have come to lift us up every boy every girl every man every woman and lord i pray the glory of the lord will shine into every life and through every life in jesus name fulfill your word fulfill the proclamation fulfill the prophecy fulfill the dream in every life in jesus name Thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can see now. Today, as I come to you, I'm talking to you on unique virtues and works exceeding youthful zeal. Anything you ever thought about, in your youth in your earlier years the lord is telling you you will exceed you will go beyond all that useful zeal you start from here and you are going to get up there in jesus name and look at for samuel chapter 2 and i'm reading from verse 8 in first samuel chapter 2 verse 8 it's telling us and it says he the almighty god raises up the poor out of the dust and out of the dark hill he raises us up and he makes us now to be at par with the princes because of the uniqueness of God in our lives. He has come. And he tells you in this final hour. He says, though you were poor, impoverished. Though you didn't have anything. Though you begin at the zero level. You will get to the zenith in Jesus' name. Unique virtues and works exceeding useful zeal look at them you you tells us that i have unlimited unsearchable unction uploaded by the upholder unlimited that's what your life is now that's your, what your path is now you'll be unlimited in jesus name it tells us in ephesians chapter 3 reading from verse 8 ephesians chapter 3 verse 8 unto me who am less than the least of all saints you couldn't be less than that less than the least of all saints and paul the apostle realized what he was doing before where he had been before and all those bad bad things that he did before he said even to be saved wonderful wonders even to be brought into the family of god wonderful wonders i was less and i still less than the least 
of all sins that it says is this grace given a gift that i should preach declare proclaim among the gentiles the unsearchable riches of christ i want you to take a cue from that line up and say look at paul look at saul the least of them all and peter had seen the lord before he ever saw the lord john james and the others they have interacted with the lord before he ever came across christ he said i am the least and if you're the least the lord is lifting you up and is giving you unlimited unsearchable unction uploaded by the upholder christ is the upholder that word upload upload uh, have you experienced that you have a tablet and that tablet you want to program on it an exciting program uplifting a program and the person is going to send the programs to you he said it's in the cloud and from the cloud you're going to download it to your system and then you try to download it the thing will not come and so you look at your battery and you say the battery is now and you see that the internet is not functioning because there is nothing to bring that message that program in the cloud to your tablet and so you plug it and then you leave it for some time and after leaving it for some time you come back and you look at it nothing has changed you say watch ah this socket is not working you unplug it and you plug it here and the battery your battery is rising i said your battery is rising you are charging that thing and you are going to so fully charge and then you put all the you know pin number password and lo and behold that program from the cloud will enter into your tablet am i talking to somebody far away there what i'm telling you is there is something sent from the cloud of glory the power the anointing the achievement the possibilities of life already saying to you check up in your tablet check up in your heart check up in your life that uplifting program is already there now if you cannot access it check up your plugs and unplug from that dead socket that is not working and plug your life to the lively active a socket to the lord the savior and everything that has been uploaded for you in the clouds will come inside there amen how does that happen already paul the apostle said me the least of all god has revealed and god has given the unsearchable i hear you apostle paul how will it happen to me number one think of your uniqueness nobody else on earth has your fingerprints nobody on earth has your fingerprints if you have a tablet if you have a laptop if you have a phone and then instead of having numbers as the thing that will make you enter in just put your fingerprint and nobody else will be able to get into that tablet why your fingerprint is unique your life is unique your future is unique your calling is unique number one understand your uniqueness number two unplug your life from any 
dead socket that doesn't carry any power you are associated to this and the whole that relationship is dead it's not even bringing up any light there is no activation there and you do everything and when you plug your life you plug your system you plug the fire wire of your life is dead it's not bringing anything unplug and remove it from there somebody has given you a gift and the gift is there but you say look at my gift look at my gift it's wrapped up what do you do unwrap it you have gift from god gift from heaven unwrap it unfold it it is when you unwrap you unfold you say look at this uh -huh. don't just look take it up use it use that gift use that thing the lord sends to you from the clouds and he says you and you alone can make it useful the first you uniqueness and the last you have given here usefulness your unique gift will make you useful my unique gift will make me talk 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 will make me useful and your usefulness will be unprecedented in jesus name now we have the v which is virtues for valiant victors through his victory you will not be a victim i will not be a victim you will not be a vacillating personality is here is there and everywhere he goes he just vaccinates he came here he did nothing it's gone there. It's doing nothing. It's going another place. Just vacillating, vacillating about and doing nothing. Where you are, you will be there and you'll be a fruit. The college you come from, the university you come from, the school you come from, the village you come from, the town you come from, the nation you come from, there you'll be useful i will be useful you see it, it, there's no point i tried this and i didn't stay there long enough to produce fruit then i get out of there then i come there and just vacillating do you see the pendulum of that clock here there here there and it never goes beyond that limit you'll go beyond every limit how does that happen we're looking at second peter chapter one reading from verse three according as his divine power yes giving unto us all things he has given to us all things i'm wondering what that means i see somebody wanting to write an essay I see somebody wanting to write an article. I see somebody want to write a new career. I see somebody wanting to write a new thing that will make history in our world. And he has the pen in hand. He has the paper on the desk, on the table. And he's just doing it like this. And I come to, I said, my son, my daughter, what are you waiting for? He said, I want to write. I said, start writing. He said, I'm looking for the letters I will use. I said, all the letters I've been giving to you. There's no other letter. A, B, C, D, unto Z. That's all. And he has given us all the letters to write a new story. And to write a new life. 
and to write a new height. All the letters we need has been given. And so we're not just going to put our chin on our hand and say, I'm waiting for another letter. I'm waiting for another alphabet. He has given us all. He has given me all. I said he has given me all. Look at it. That's what it says. According as his divine power has given unto us. Look at it. All things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue. Then it says in verse 4, in verse 4, it says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. You are a partaker in Jesus' name. A possessor in Jesus' name. And then it says that having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. What does this start? It starts with virtue you come into this life you see on the one hand virtue on the other hand vice and you make your choice and god says behold i put before you life and death good and evil choose choose life that you may live and then you will live to excellence in your life in jesus name and so, when you see vice, sometimes vice looks colorful. Sometimes vice looks uh, financially inviting. Sometimes vice will look like it will give pleasure. But vice is vice. And that vice will lead you to a place you are not thinking of or dreaming of. Choose virtue. As you choose Christ, and as virtue, then vision, vision. You know, if you if you're going through life, just looking down, you'll not see beyond the ground around you. But if you're going to, and I know you are going to amount to something, Amen. brother. Nobody now from today, your brother, somebody, yeah. sister, nobody. Praise the Lord. I don't see the smile on your face over here. You become sister, somebody in Jesus' name. But you must have vision. Vision is what gets us there. This is a stadium. And I see a father coming in. And he has a little boy there. And he's holding the hand. And he's going and the child said daddy i can't see anything i opened my eyes but i can't see anything and then daddy kind of uh, you know stoops down and he says climb on my shoulder and the little boy climbs on the shoulder of daddy and the child the boy says daddy i can't even see beyond you now because i am sitting on your shoulder that's how we get vision in life and sometimes i can't see that sometimes it's too high it's too great it's so magnanimous i cannot see climb on the shoulders of those who have gone before you climb on your daddy's shoulder Climb on the author's shoulder. Climb on the builder's shoulder. Climb on the shoulder of that man who is constructing something. Climb on the shoulder of that doctor. Climb on the shoulder of the engineer. And climb on the shoulder of the achievers before you. Reach their story. Talk about their achievement and find out what did they do to get to where they are. And as you climb on our shoulders, you will see more than we have seen. 
you will go beyond where we have gone it starts with virtue choose virtue not vice and then climb on the shoulders of those who have come before you and you will have a vision after the vision the vow he made it by the grace of god i will make it i see his life and his life was nothing to write to me about in the first few years but he turned around he changed and he became what god wanted him to be i make a vow that's what god has shown me now what god has revealed to me now i make a vow to myself and to my god i will be there you will be there and then vigilance 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 that you're vigilant you're preparing a good meal for yourself for your family you want to even feed the nation you want to be vigilant that nobody comes to put sand in your eyes nobody comes to you're watching look at abraham he was sacrificing to god and the birds were coming they wanted to take part of the sacrifice away from the altar of the almighty god and abraham drove them away because he was vigilant you must watch over the vision that the lord has crafted in your heart now and anything that will come any association that will come any play play kind of game that will come any strategy of the devil that will come to shift you away and to shift your attention from that vision you will drive them away satan will not determine your destiny and the evil spirits will not determine your destiny and your attitude that's what just had now bad attitude proud attitude ungrateful attitude all those bad attitudes will not hinder your destiny i choose to be up and as you choose to be up nothing Will bring you down somebody shout amen and hey, look at the next one now is double you it's the water of the world washing whiter through his worthiness the water of his word that is washing us and washing us and cleansing us and is making us what we ought to be and it is through his worthiness the lord will put worthiness in your life Amen. don't ever say again i am not worthy it's like god has given you the brain and then you have first class and then they say they give the microphone to you and they say talk i am not worthy did you cheat did you didn't you read of course you read you are the key of the king a child of the creator and the lord has lifted you up unworthiness has been taken away from your life unworthiness has been taken away from my life you are worthy i said you are worthy and he'll wash you he will wash you he will wash you look at psalm 51 i'm reading from verse 7 in psalm 51 verse 7 he's saying purge me me purge me at with iso and i shall be clean you're clean and wash me and i shall be whiter than snow i shall be whiter than snow actually this man who wants to be whiter than snow now he had been washed before and he was as white as snow and then something happened his emotion carried him away his feeling carried him away his feeling pulled him in the direction of vice and 
He fell from grace to grass. Anybody could have stayed there. I'm no use. I'm no good. I'm bad. I'm whatever. I'm low. I've spoiled everything. David said, no, I've not spoiled everything. Now, I'm going to come back. Everybody, I will come back. I will come back. Whatever has happened, the worst that Satan could do in your life will not hinder the best that God will do in your life. The worst that Satan could do in your life will not hinder the best that God will do in your life. And so he came back to the Lord. He said, Lord, at the beginning, you washed me as white as snow. Now, what I'm asking of, I want to go higher than where I was before I fell. My son, my daughter, young man, young woman there, if the devil got the better of you, and made you fall wanting to destroy your future you're there today you can say i was white before i'm going to be whiter now Amen. somebody there Amen. whiter somebody shout whiter you'll be whiter in jesus name You'll be brighter in Jesus' name. You'll be purer in Jesus' name. Purer than diamond. Stronger. Look at Samson. That man was powerful. He killed a lion. That man was mighty. That he destroyed all those Philistines. With the jawbone of an ass. Then he did something he shouldn't have done. He went somewhere he shouldn't have gone. And the enemy took advantage of his roaming about. The enemy took advantage of his walking about. And here, here, here. And eventually they caught him. And he removed his eyes. Out, outward eyes the inner eye could still see the glory of God the power of God the intention of God and even when the physical eyes could not see the inner eyes could see because finally it's like God I see you on the throne what you'll do for me give me a victory now that will be mightier than all the victories I ever had. And the Lord said yes to him. The Lord is saying yes to you today. Whiter, brighter, purer, stronger. And then he said, can you show me those two pillars that hold the building? And then he put his hand there because now he was mightier than he used to be. He was mighty before, but now he's mightier. And with all his strength, he could see God, the invisible one, on the throne. He said, give me this victory. I want to end my life with victory. Your life will end with victory. Yeah. You will not be a victim at the end of your days. A bench. And the record says he destroyed more of God's enemies at his death. More than any other time in his life. Whatever Satan has done in your life, the Almighty God will reverse it in Jesus' name. And then, whiter, brighter, purer, stronger, mightier, and the Lord will make you go farther than you have ever gone in Jesus' name. Who is that? Who is that? 
I said, who is that? that is going to be whiter and brighter and purer who is that that is going to be stronger and mightier and go further I, do i have him in the house do i have her in the house where is she where is he the lord confirm it to your life in jesus name now and i want to come to x now x excelling exceptional extraordinary through his exploits Ex excelling i will excel extraordinary i will be extraordinary exceptional i will be exceptional how through his exploits now Christ specializes in exploits. He has the power to do exploits. He has the strength to do exploits. He has the anointing and the calling to do exploits. Now, I'm thinking about it. There were lepers in the land, and no leper came to him. How would we know that he had the exploits and he can cleanse lepers? A woman with issue of blood she was there and she never came. And if she never came, how would we know that Christ can do exploits? But he meals blind. He came. If he didn't come, how would we know that Christ could do exploits? A man, Lazarus, dead. Four days, if the sisters did not call Christ to come and do that, how would we know that he could raise the dead? The exploits is recognized and seen in you. If you don't come, if you don't connect, if you don't say, here is my challenge, a challenge unknown anywhere and the people the experts of the world they cannot take this away if you don't come to him for him to touch your life to turn your life around and to transform you how would we know that christ could do the exploits the exploits in the ministry of christ happened because all those people they came you have come already i have come already and the exploits of the lord will be seen in your life look at daniel chapter 11 we're reading from verse 32 daniel 11 verse 32 and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. Hold on. You know, some people say, all the people around me are corrupt. And because of that, they think they cannot excel. They say, I don't want to talk about our country but there's something i read about in the papers all the time uh, corruption 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 and since every way is corrupt how can i have the exploits some people are stopped short because of all the corruption around them but i see that white lily growing up and surrounded by all things that are black and dark and dirty yet the white lily shoots off and remains white and that is the story of your life Amen. in the midst of corruption in the midst of crime in the midst of contradictions i see you growing up as white as lily i see you growing up as strong as strong could be i see you the exploits of the lord in your life in jesus name and then it says but but the people 
that do know their God shall be stronger and they shall do exploits. When the first part of the sentence says, all the people that do wickedly shall be corrupted by all the things around them by flattery. He said, but there are some people, they single themselves out and they say, in the midst of the corruption, there will be exploits in my life. Talk now, say it out. What you say is what you get. Exploits in your life in Jesus' name. I'm thinking about it. How can I have his exploits in my life? Number one, explore. Explore. That's why we're exposed to this subject and this subject and this subject. That's why we're exposed to this area and that area as we're learning. And as we explore, and we don't just stay, we're too young to stay on one narrow scene, a narrow subject, a narrow endeavor. We explore. And then, as we're exploring, I've seen this, I've seen that, I expand, expand. You know, as we go to college, university, we become undergraduates and then we become graduates and we learn and we explore everything that had been done before us why would they give us research work to deal with in a postgraduate level because they say although you have explored and all these have been done you need to expand expand this subject expand the knowledge expand the discovery and it is as you do that you don't stop with exploring you go to expanding and when you do that eventually you expand that means you're going to expend some energy and you're going to expand some sweat. You're going to expand some cause. You put something into that area so that you will go beyond. I will go beyond. And you never allow yourself to expire. Sometimes you buy something like biscuits, like any other thing. I mean, you look for the expiry date, and beyond that expiry date, they say that thing is no good, throw it away. You want to make up your mind that you will never come to an expiry date. I will not expire. That is, say, company, why are you keeping this man? The man has expired, it's gone beyond the time and the period and the day of usefulness. I will not expire. It, it, you don't understand. Sometimes when somebody has expired, no new understanding, no new knowledge, no innovation, no discovery, and no new direction, the management will come to him and they will flatter him. They'll say, Mr. So-and-so, come to her. Mrs. So-and-so, you're so invaluable, you're so wonderful, but uh, we've been thinking about something in the, in the uh, company, in the management, we well, want to give you early retirement. Uh -huh. They want to get rid of him because he has expired. She has expired. No new understanding. No new thirst. He's sluggish. He's slow. He's retarded. He's even coming late to important meetings. It's like even in the meeting, he'll be sleeping and dozing. He has nothing to contribute again. He has expired. I will not expire. Somebody there, you will not expire in Jesus' name. And then you will go on experiencing growth every moment, 
every day of your life in Jesus name and now I come to why why that's yearning yielding yoked to his youthfulness now that's what yearn there's another word learn it's because you yearn now that's why you learn that word yearn leading to learn connects with another word earn you yearn you are not yawning you know there are people they wake up early in the morning and they yawn in they don't yearn why all through the night they were surfing the internet they were scrolling they were reading text chat message everything and they were not sleeping time and when the alarm clock rings it's like stop that i still need more sleep but they have to go to school and they have to go to work and when they get to work because they are not prepared instead of yearning they yawning that will not happen to you you'll be fit you'll be all right you'll have the future before you and you will say today will contribute to the goal of my life you yearn you learn you earn you are honest honest you come to life and it's like you are awake you want to do something you want to be something because you are honest in everything that you do that's how we make it in life and that is how your goal will be fulfilled in jesus name and yeah at your age at any age and yeah i desire i want something more i want my life to reach higher ground yearn and then you learn if you just yearn and you stop there and you don't learn anything and now you understand anything we want to learn you can have the search google search how to learn about this you can have a new degree just by yearning and readiness to learn and you can have mentors that will educate you enlighten you and develop you and bring you up because you yearn you learn and show me anyone that yearns and learns he will earn more your earning power depends on your yearning attitude and then yearn learn and 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 be earnest about life all that will take you to a new platform take me to a new platform amen in your life amen in your life it tells us in luke chapter 2 reading from verse 52 luke chapter 2 verse 52 it says, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with man. Your favor will not stop. Favor from heaven, favor from earth will meet together on you. Because of that, You'll make it in Jesus' name. I come to Z. Somebody says Z. In some places, they say Z. That's all right. Z, Z, they mean the same thing. Zealous, zestful, without zigzags, like his zeal. Zealous. If you are kind of plastic indifferent no emotion no excitement no power within passive 
you know people will not trek on with you everybody is running you are there hands hand down i don't know whether i want to run or not i don't know whether i want to go forward on people will bypass you if you are there no shine on your face everything is dull and dead and there's nothing that makes people think you want to go forward and achieve people will not let you to be a dead weight on them to so just be there and be a dead weight on the whole institution the institution will pass you by but when you have zeal when you have zest when you want to go to the zenith and you want to say i'm reaching out i'm reaching out i'm reaching out the world will make way for you what are you the world will make way for you they say he's coming the champion is coming is coming the runner is coming he's coming the achiever is coming they'll make way for you in jesus name and those you've seen there before ahead of you you see look at the man look at the man look at the woman that man is a son a spiritual son of uh, pastor Kumui. Look at that woman, achieving woman, achieving lady. Did you know her? No, I didn't know her. Where's she coming from? Have you heard the name Kumui before? Yes, of course I know the name. It's a daughter of Kumui. I pass the fire into your heart. The zeal I pass into your life. You will run you will not be weary you will walk and you will not faint what he said others have never done before i put you forth as my candidate i said they said nobody has done it before go forward and do it they said nobody climbed that mountain before nobody broke the record before i said did you hear my son did you hear my daughter come i present you as candidate to our country i present you as candidate to the world what they said others have never touched others have never got you are my candidate you will not be a disappointment i say go and achieve go and do it go and succeed go and bring first class back home and the seal of the lord will do it in your life fire will burn every chaff out of your life all those useless things that will not help you to climb your mountain everything is taken away now and as we go back home i declare let every hindrance clear out of your way where are you i said where are you stand up stand up ready to achieve ready to overcome and ready to take on new responsibility in your nation in your community in your college in your university in your profession in your school anywhere i release you with the power of the lord and the presence of the lord in your life be an achiever in jesus name open your mouth and talk to the lord in prayer open your mouth now and talk to the lord and say lord i am i accept that i receive that it is done you've come into my life you've saved me you've cleansed me you have washed me i am white as snow i'm even wanting to be whiter than snow now lord do it achieve it confirm it in my life tell the lord tell the lord young man young woman tell the lord 
young adults, tell the Lord, He'll open doors for you. He'll open your brain, your mind, to the success He has ordained for you. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He will go with you. And you will not expire. They will not retire you. They will say, we can't do without him. We can't do without her. And your style will shine brighter and brighter. Your mind will be stronger and stronger. Your body will be healthy and healthier. All the days of your life. And you will be what God has called, created, fashioned you to be. And the rest of your life will be a bright, shining life that will never expire. In Jesus' name we pray. Raise up that hand, a hand of the champion, of the achiever, of the overcomer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every good thing we have heard reproduce in everyone. Every boy, every girl, every youth, every young adult, a new strength, a new power, a new victory, a new knowledge, a new intelligence, a new righteousness, a new ability, a new skill in every life in Jesus' name. Lord, I sent forth everyone as a Equipped, transformed, learners, earners, who yearn for better things in life. Do it for everyone. Take everyone, everyone, everyone from the zero level to the zenith of their lives. Write a new chapter in every life. A new book in every life. Use all these alphabets to make out a new story. A new biography of every life. Receive that. Believe that. It is yours in Jesus' name. Achieve us. Amen. Cross, amen. Champions, amen. It is done. In Jesus' name we pray.